Why on earth did I think it was a good idea to burn yourself out at the end with double jerks? But how do you put it down, my man? Seriously! Gregory We're all about kettlebells. So if you are into kettlebells, then like the video and consider subscribing. Sometimes you gotta look back. And that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm reacting to an old workout from Angie and me. We did it two years ago and it's doing pretty well on the YouTube channel. <laughs> but the form is... So let's go. Two years ago, I was having dark hair. Angie was rocking her pink hair. Uh, we actually still do this type of warm-up. I love it. We call it the world's greatest stretch. Tabata workout. So the Tabata idea was to go balls to the walls. I think it was 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And while the Tabata system can give you some results, I think, like I mentioned so many times, it perpetuates the burn mentality. And that's one thing that we are now trying to avoid. Snatch left side. Let's go. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Watch my hands. I call this now the fly trap. If you have open hands, close them. And the way I like to close it, I'm not trying to grip the kettlebell because when we have a deep hand insertion, then the kettlebell rests fairly deep on the forearm. And then you just close your fingers. I'm doing the fly trap. And Angie, she's, Angie's not moving her hips as much. You should see Angie's technique now. She's a beast. <laughs> Watch my head. Watch my head. I'm like a bobblehead. <laughs> yeah. And how much is it? 45 seconds or what? And <laughs> then I decided, I decided it was a good idea to stand in front of the camera. <laughs> to see more of my funny face. You know, the back is not that much of a problem because I'm hinging. I'm almost going into a mini squat. The, sn the snatch is such a special exercise. Requires so much technique. Arms not fully extended. Still a little bit flexed. Yeah. And then she drops it. She pushes the hip forward because, yeah, we, we tried it. And you have to understand, we already had the good information. And we were trying things out. And sometimes you have to experiment. But maybe... Oh, and how do you drop it, my man? Be careful. <laughs> maybe if you're experimenting, don't put it on YouTube. <laughs> but hey, no, that's the journey. And I appreciate, I embrace my journey. Es ist noch kein Meister vom Himmel gefallen. There's a German proverb. <laughs> what is this? Hey, just watching me like, what's up with you, bro? <laughs> love it. Angie's on her toes. I love it. And what am I doing? What am I doing? Whoosh. Yeah, some kind of a jerk. Even though it says press, my man. What kind of description? I look, I look like a beanbag. <laughs> and Angie's rocking the 12 kg. Oh, Angie's strong. Angie's a beast. I love her for it. She's a beast. How do you drop those weights, my man? We're not respecting the weights, guys. It's not how you're supposed to do it. And what does it mean, respecting the weight? I love the first rule of safety when you're handling firearms. Treat the weapon, treat every weapon like it's loaded. And I love this, how Pavel coins it. Treat the kettlebell like it's loaded. I'd like to say, handle the weight with respect. I'm handling a 16 kg. I'm going too fast, so I could be prone to injury. I could hurt myself. Thank God I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the past. You gotta embrace your past. <laughs> I love my face. Watch my face. Watch my face. You gotta well, the squats, right? But we, you know, wow. And these are pretty fast squats. Wow. Wow. You gotta respect that. If you understand the bar mechanics and the dynamics of a back and a front squat with barbells or even with a dumbbell and just body weight squats, then you feel at home pretty quickly with the kettlebell. Something that I'm developing right now is the game face. You see how Angie is applying the game face and I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I learned it. Angie is bending her back to a certain extent. 
Something that I really see of her, but, you know, we got tired. And when you get tired, yeah, I like to roll, but yeah, see, that's why I'll never do this type of workout again, because I don't see any additional value in it. Even ties into the idea of Pavel's AGT method, anti-glycolytic training, something that I have to do some more research on. I do still think you need to have some endurance aspect and some strength aspect in your training to be a well-rounded generalist. At the end of the day, you can win and be successful with almost any training system. I would just add to the fact that maybe a Tabata is prone to injury to a certain extent because you're always maxing out. As you can see, our technique is, you know, questionable. Press, jerk, say what? Oh God. Well, I have to be, you know, it's. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm leaning back so hard, my man. You're leaning back so hard. Yeah, but you know, the rest position takes time. And your game phase is off, my man. And jerks, it took me ages to perfect this lift. <laughs> Oh my god. Why on earth did I think it was a good idea to burn yourself out at the end with double jerks? But how do you put it down, my man? Seriously. And the funny thing is this workout actually performs well on our YouTube channel. So the algorithm favored this type of workout. And I got some bad comments. And I remember answering these comments. I was like, that's kettlebell sport. You're not familiar with it. That's your problem. Expand your horizon. You have never heard about kettlebell sport. It would a proper explanation now would be, well, I tried. I tried to apply the methods of kettlebell sport, but I'm still learning. So have some patience with me. Please grant me some grace. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And that's the idea, guys. You see, I want to react to all kinds of workouts. Look back at my past, and I got a lot. We have a lot of kettlebell workouts from the past. And when we find a gem, I will react to it. And this is how I want to show you that I was on a journey like everybody else, and I still am. The world of kettlebells is dominated by two training styles called heart style and kettlebell sport. Although vastly different in nature, they have been proven to work and give you the most bang for your buck whenever you pick up a kettlebell, if you understand them correctly and are able to differentiate between the two. If you are a beginner, this task might be understandably confusing. Enter the hybrid style and discover how to combine the best of both worlds. The hybrid style masterclass is a 10 week practice based online course that will help you take your kettlebell skills to an elite level made in switzerland learn what's been holding you back and how to become a versatile kettlebell master without having to piece together countless youtube videos or rely on a gym membership the price of the hybrid style masterclass is 397 us dollars per month for three months save 20 percent with a one-time payment of 997 us dollars we'll open registration only to a small number of new students every three months join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public link is in the description